Hey guys, what's going on? Hyper Orange here. And in today's video, we're doing an upgrade for the mini bass boat. Now, if you've seen my build video or any other of my other fishing videos, you know that I went for a, a transom trolling motor, but I mounted it on the front with the easy mount. So this is the setup I'm talking about. Easy mount, just latches to the side and screws right in. And then this is the Minn Kota Traxxas. And what I really like about it is, when this motor is down, the arm can go up and down and also extends. I put on another additional extension. So when I'm standing up here, I can control the motor no problem. Now for what it was, it was awesome. It was cheap. It was still a brand new 55 a pound foot Traxxas, Minn Kota. It was awesome, but it was time to upgrade. And here it is. Here it is, a Minn Kota Tarova with the big foot pedal, spot lock, autopilot, iPilot remote. I also got a quick release bracket and the stabilizer. This right here is a 54 inch shaft and a 55 pound foot power. And I'm just so excited to have hands free, but more importantly, spot lock i think is the best feature ever virtual anchors are just the coolest thing ever and what's nice about this this is definitely a little overkill for my 12 foot but what's nice when i eventually want to upgrade to like an 18 foot or something like that i'm gonna take this off and then put it on my future boat so it's like you know buy once cry once it's for the long term so what we're gonna do we're gonna get rid of this easy mount and build like a little floor to mount the trolling motor and uh, I hope you guys are excited because this is going to be awesome. So we're just thinking on how to design it right now. Basically, it's going to just have a platform here and then whatever. But before we can ever do this, we have to take this shit off. And this was stripped beyond belief. So we're just going to grind it off. So we just cut this out and it's already coming to shape. So you can see it's a little bit off, but once it's raised with a shim, it's gonna be perfect. This is my uncle that helped me do the whole build and is helping me with this. Could have done it without him. But yeah, it's already coming to shape. We're just gonna have to cut it down to like roughly around here because I don't want it too big, but you know, one step at a time. So we just cut this piece out for right underneath here. And long story short, it's gonna act like a sandwich when we put the top triangle on top. So big update. Now to figure out the angle of the head, I also bought the quick release. So we wanted to, you know, put it in the right position. So when we mount it, we know exactly where the motor is going. Now, as we were deciding, we realized this quick release just goes into this thick aluminum plate with four bolts. This is irrelevant. There would be no structural support to have this piece here. As you can see, these, these trolling motors really hang off a lot because it needs lots of clearance for the motor, but that is not needed at all. So after like talking and debating and just looking, I'm deciding I'm just gonna have it mounted on the front. Right now we just have one screw in, but why add so much extra rate with a wooden floor, carpet, do the work, painting, seal it, when I can just have it mounted right to here, then in the winter, take out the quick release, pops right off. As you can see, the quick release is just a small little piece. I'll take this right off right now and show you, but that's all it needs. And it's pretty simple. And it's just four bolts holding all the, all the support. And like I said, this is super thick aluminum that's welded right in and screwed in right into the actual frame of the boat. So it's like, it's a win-win, but I wanted to show the other support just to show plans change. And when you're doing uh, do it yourself, like, you know, you never know what you're gonna do, but I think this is gonna be awesome to be honest. So this is the update. Now, I just wanted to show guys who are gonna be like, oh, you shouldn't mount it to this. It's not uh, secure. Regardless if I did it to the wood or to this, it is four bolts holding the quick release. That's the only thing holding your motor. Now you can see this is 
thick. It's almost half the thickness of uh, the quick release bracket. Now, when these bolts go in with the washers, we're gonna have our thick piece of wood that sandwiches this all together. So it's gonna be grabbing. Now, I had to slowly, you'd be like, oh, why didn't you put it here? This is the angle we needed for the head to be right here. I didn't want the head in the middle of the boat. I wanted it to the side so the stabilizer can just grab it comfortably. But that's the setup and uh, that's what we're doing. So just to show the design again, I didn't use this hole because it lined up with this and I didn't want to drill into it. So we put a new hole here. I did a countersink, so on both sides, so you know it's holding the screw up. And then this is the block that's underneath. So it's wood screws. I drilled this out and put the washers in so they cannot move at all. This goes underneath, holds it in, bolts go in, and this is the solid thick aluminum. And that's what, that's what holds the whole motor is this quick release bracket. But the design is awesome and the motor doesn't move. And I'm, I'm super, super happy with how simple it was and that I didn't have to mess around with the extended uh, carpeted floor. Painted the bottom sandwich piece of wood. So now it just matches nicely. And uh, I'm super, super, super happy with how it came out. Just to show, this is the difference between the two motors. Now this lens is a little bit of a wide angle, so it'll be a little more warped. Actually, I can change right now, watch this. Both 55, but you can see the shaft on the Trova is so much longer. But this is a small motor for what it is, and this looks larger, but when it's mounted on the boat, it goes to around that cleat and it's it's not bad at all. And again, what I'm really happy about, when I upgrade in the future to a bigger boat, I'm gonna take this Trova and put that one on it right away. Just setting up the stabilizer, gonna mount it and... Uh-huh. The neighborhood cat Gus would like some food. I'm coming. Gus is all happy with his snack. And the stabilizer kit is done. Just drilled it in. And now when I'm on the road or on the water, this head is not gonna be bouncing. And what I like about this is that it's a solid piece of steel. So this is the Tarova, fully mounted on my 12 foot boat. And it came out awesome. I'm so happy I didn't do that front deck design because then this foot pedal would have to be way out here. and. With this quick release mount, these bolts don't go into, there's nothing here. It's one, two, three, four, and it goes perfectly. I still gotta get a nice lock for this, so the motor is on tight, but the stabilizer is perfect, and I'm just so happy with how this came out. Now I have extra space, saved a little bit of work and weight, and uh, now I have a Minn Kota Trova with spot lock, autopilot, and iPilot on a 12-foot mini bass boat. And as you can see, it is rock solid. She's not going nowhere. Stabilizer is awesome. When I pull this, this just goes flat. That's not going nothing because it's solid steel. And now when I'm driving her on rough water, it, it's not going anywhere. You deploy it by just pressing down this and it goes nice and easy. But I could not be more happy with how uh, it worked out perfect. This little piece of aluminum uh, really came in clutch and I'm super happy with this build. Also, a lot of you guys were asking to name the boat, and I named it the Cardinal. It's on both sides. I feel like that was really fitting. Favorite bird is a Cardinal. It's a small little red boat, and uh, now I finally got it named, and I'm pretty happy with it. And it's just a small little touch to the boat. 
Update on my little six horsepower Evan Rude. I just got the carburetor cleaned at my local marina and uh, they took care of it and now she's running better and uh, still running great. But uh, I will admit the six horsepower with this build, uh, this build is definitely heavy and I'll admit to that and she's definitely slow but uh, you know it still works no problem gets me to my spot and it was either get a new outboard or get a new trolling motor. I went for the trolling motor first because I really wanted spot lock but uh, hopefully by the end of the year I can get a 20 horsepower. I'm really looking at a new 2023 20, Mercury 20 horsepower four stroke because those are just awesome engines. Now they're definitely up there in price, but then you got the reliability and that extra power. So we'll see what happens. I also sanded this down and painted it because the paint was just absolutely destroyed. And just to add a little nice matte black semi-gloss finish. But uh, the six horsepower is staying for now. Hopefully by the end of the year, I can get a 20 horsepower. And uh, she's just a clean little two stroke. I'm very, very happy for what she has been so far. So here it is, it's all done. My little 12 foot mini bass boat has a Minn Kota Tarova with iPilot and a foot pedal. This spot lock feature, like of course the autopilot's cool, the hands free, but I've been lusting over spot lock ever since I learned about it. I've seen big boats go in big chop, so it's gonna be child's play on this little boat. And I don't go out in super uh, rough water anyways, but the fact that I don't have to throw anchor, I just press the button with my remote or with my foot and it'll roughly keep the, the boat in that place. I just, I, I can't get over it. I'm so excited. Forget the guys that hook it up to live scope and uh all the other awesome sonar tricks and all that i'm just you know one step at a time and the fact that i turned this little bass boat it was just a aluminum uh, fishing boat and the fact that i can get out on the water and uh, target musky and bass uh i'm just super happy but anyways guys i'm hyper orange thanks so much for watching and remember it's all about getting out there cheers